Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday, 12.03. So I guess it's not good morning, it's good afternoon. So I'm obviously in my garage. And I am starting a project. My back is still very tight. I didn't get a chance to make it to the chiropractor yesterday. There's just too much to do. So I think that I'm not going to be a dumb monkey and start moving all this shit around when I know that I have a high potential of my back seizing. And that's on a Saturday, which means I'd have to wait until Monday to get it fixed. I have no desire to spend the weekend laying there in searing hot pain. So I'm not going to do that today. So what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna take some angle brackets, some USB-C cable, a Uvanzi mini ball head, and I'm going to attach it up here, probably right there. So that way I'm centrally located as far as where things are in this garage. And I'm gonna have a camera mount so that I can do things like, I don't know, take this one RS and mount it up there to do time lapse. Or because I have the F38 quick mount on here, I can mount any camera I want up there and film while I'm in the garage. All this stuff can all go on this shelf unit that I bought that's just like that one over there. So once I get all of this back there, technically it'll all go behind there and it will be hidden by my blankets. Then I can then put the uh, inversion table here and I'm also contemplating getting a treadmill so that when it's shitty like it is outside now, and it's gonna be shitty for the next few months, I can not have an excuse to not come down here and do some kind of a workout with all of my workout stuff. That will include coming down here and having a TV that I've got my Apple TV hooked up to, plus I've got the music, which I have off right now because I'm recording. But you know what I mean? I can come down here and I can build things. The point being, oh, and I can run over there and get a drink whenever I want it. Ha ha. So uh, the point being is that I can turn this, you know, disaster area of a garage at one time into a pretty tight, well-oiled machine. And I can do whatever the hell I want down here, whether it be workout, hang out, or just come down here and film. Or take pictures, or sit down here and talk to Maddie, my mannequin, because I'm fucking crazy. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to start simple by getting that camera mounted up there. But for now, let's get cracking. Okay, simply because of the fact that I, I hate working in here without sound, I have the, uh, the TV on with some anime going just for visual, but I had the music on, so that's why I didn't record. And I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. So what I did was I, used a hacksaw and cut down a bolt so that it was long enough to fit up there but be tight. And then I took out one of the screws here because I've realized that mounting it up here, it, it wasn't sitting flat and it wasn't gonna work very well. So, plus it was up pretty high. So I took it down, removed a screw that I had holding this panel on and put that in there first. And then I used a level to make it straight up and down and put those two in, put the ball head on, and now we're good to go. So I'm gonna go get one of my bigger cameras and hook it up there and I will switch to that. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. Now I have the ZV-E1 with the 16 to 35 F4 power zoom hooked up. That is not the sturdiest platform. It's pretty jiggly. And let's see if you can actually see it jiggle. This thing really jiggles, sticking out that far. It's not what it's meant for. It's screwed in with three screws into a stud. So it's not gonna fall off. It's definitely like the ball head's not gonna fall off and the camera's not gonna come loose out of the ball head because I have it screwed in there pretty tight. So it's perfect. The only thing is, is that because it's so not sturdy, that would lead you to believe that, oh yeah, I can't have that up there, but it doesn't matter because it's not gonna move. It's gonna stay right there the whole time. So it'll be fine. This is yet another example of how you can use existing surroundings and a bunch of scraps that I found in a bunch of other, not magical drawers, but for all intents and purposes, magical drawers. So yeah, I could be sitting in here and I could be doing a project or I could be doing a workout. Not that I'd wanna film myself working out because that would just be a pathetic mess, but you get my point is that I can come down here and now I have yet another place that I can do some filming 
just to change it up so you're not always seeing me bitching and moaning in my forerunner, or you're not always seeing me sitting in my office, or you're not always seeing me sitting in three ships, although that does tend to offer a little bit more of a dynamic background. So, all right, that project is done. It didn't take me too long. One of the things that's happened with me doing these projects in here and hanging all this shit and hanging my shop light and redoing my office and all that stuff is that I thought, I mean, I downright swore to Zeus that I thought that I had a full length level, like a, like a three footer. I have yet to see that anywhere in this garage. The only level that I have, other than like little itty bitty ones that are like three inches long, this is the only one I have. I keep using it upstairs when I'm mounting shit in, in my office slash studio, but I'm also using it down here. Plus, I'm also trying to do stuff other places. And I'm like, fuck, I had two of these. I can only find this one. What the shit happened to the other one, I don't know. And at this point, I don't care. So since I'm not going to be doing any of this major heavy backbreaking bullshit. I'm going shopping. So I'm going to go to Home Depot now. I'm going to get myself a three foot level. I'm going to get maybe one or two more of these so that I don't have to keep running all over the freaking house looking for them. And it's very aggravating. And I have forgotten time and time again to buy new ones. So we're going to go to Home Depot and do some shopping. It's 1249. Let's go shopping and get some damn bean. Okay, mission accomplished. I got a bigger level two smaller levels and I got safety glasses that aren't all scratched into oblivion. It's just been pissing rain all day since last night. I'm tired of getting out of the vehicle and, and just getting soaked and getting my glasses all wet. Right now it's 2.34. I mean, I, I have no need to go anywhere else at, at the moment, so I'm gonna go to three ships. Okay, it's packed here today, so you're shit your eye from the corner. Obviously I had my bean, this is her bean. Now I need to go to the UPS store to pick up a package. Let's trudge our way through the water and go pick up a package that will hopefully make my back feel better. Yay. Okay kids, uh, despite the fact that it's just been icky out all day, uh, I got a lot accomplished. Well, actually I went and got my package and I'm gonna show you what that is. It's this chirp wheel and It's basically just a big plastic wheel with foamy shit on it. It's got a little groove in the middle for your spine, and then it pushes and massages and apparently cracks your back. Just what I need for those times when I can't get to the chiropractor. Okay, also, I redid my bracelet. Well, two bracelets, one for me, one for her. So I did the, uh, the turquoise stuff because, you know, I guess I'm all into turquoise these days. But it also, and I don't know how well you can see it, but it's also got skulls. So I, I cut up the other one that just had all turquoise with three, like, black lava rocks. And now it's just skull, turquoise, skull, turquoise, all the way around. So I'm going to leave that to dry because once I tie the ends together, I put the, uh, like, the just super duper crap glue on it and then pull that inside of a bead and let it dry. So I'm in no hurry to wear that right now. Um, I also redid this jade bracelet for her that I've had for months that I've just never done. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to, to show you that, that I'm sort of tying the, the loose ends together today. And, you know, that includes cleaning this desk off with all these damn beads and everything. So that's clean. I'm gonna go test this thing out, roll my back on it, and it is 12 after five. So plenty of time, <laughs> I always say that, and then I end up like going right up to the, the last second. Um, but plenty of time for me to get this video out there uh, before Sven Gulli. Now in between, the, the oh, it's like almost a less, little less than three hours before Sven Gulli starts, I have to edit this video, I have to eat, and do probably a hundred other things that I forgot that I wanted to do. So. Just gonna stop blathering on now and say that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.